This is about predator-prey relationships. The prey is the animal being hunted, in this case a snowshoe hare, and the predator is the animal doing the hunting, looking to eat the prey, and in this case that's the Canadian lynx. And if we have a look at the graph, we can see that the population of the predator and the population of the prey, it doesn't stay the same, it goes up a bit and it goes down a bit. We call these changes fluctuations in their population. Now we can also see that the population goes up and then it goes down and then it goes up and it goes down. And this fluctuation we can therefore say is cyclical or cyclic. So we've got cyclic fluctuation and we can explain that. Um, if the hare's got lots of food then the population of hares is going to go up. Now if there are more hares then there's more food available for the lynxes so a little bit later the population of lynxes is going to go up and equally you can imagine if the population of hares then goes down eventually the population of lynxes will go down and this type of fluctuation is called outer phase fluctuation as the changes in the predator population so the lynx population always happen a little bit after the changes in the prey population